support single payer health care reform? You know, I do. Let me tell you something. Everybody knows this. You know single payer is a Republican idea initially, right? How many people know that? That's the truth. It was. Does anyone not know that? Okay, you don't believe me, do you? It was. I'm not making that up. And it's interesting because it makes sense because it is, in fact, an idea that has some, um, that's, uh, that's very straightforward and it makes sense. Now, Republicans backed away from it, obviously, in this it, 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 this, I'm talking about 20 years ago or 30 years ago, which tells you I can, I have some memory, some, some political memory, but it started out as a Republican idea. It is an idea that still has legs. It doesn't matter which party uh, was the producer of the idea. In point of fact, it has symmetry, it's clear, it's coherent, and yes, that will be an ultimate goal, but you know what? I'm going to tell you something. The health care reform bill we have in place now is not perfect. But as um, many have said, it is a foundation. It is a start. And I'm willing to accept that and to work to improve upon it. Would you vote to nullify the Bill of Rights as Congressman Holden did for the Military Commissions Act? That's a, almost like a trick question, the way it was phrased. No, that's OK. <laughs> I can't ask who asked the question, can I? Um, would you like to do a follow-up, John? Okay. Oh, John. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> the Military Commissions Act basically shredded the Bill of Rights. Uh, uh, it allows the president to uh, denote anyone he wishes as an enemy combatant and deny them the rights to due process. It also allows for torture. There's a tremendous amount of controversy around the Military Commissions Act right now. Eric Holder has been um, has had to testify on Capitol Hill about that. Let me tell you, I am I am a, a trained as an attorney. I believe in upholding the um, the law, and what that means is to me is in fact that due process is important, and I do believe that there may be extraordinary times uh, when perhaps we need to um, for a very discreet set of circumstances, perhaps, I'm going to make this a great contingency, suspend uh, due process, but I have not seen those instances. Um, and I don't think that the suspension of due process has been uh, used appropriately. I think it is, um, I think that is um, critical that we uphold the rights of everybody. And it is interesting because one of the big issues around due process is, does it only apply to U.S. citizens? And the answer is no. It applies to everybody. It applies to everybody. When you think back, think about Japanese internment camps. That becomes, an, it, right, when we think about that, that, that becomes, for me, an, an example of when we did not uphold due process and it led to a whole series of unfortunate events for which we had to pay dearly later and for which families were really torn apart. 